Hey, what's up? Hey, slug. Chat, would you guys believe me if I fucking told you that when I walked over to the chat today and I saw everyone saying, Slug, he's there, he's there, I actually had to do a double take because I thought I deleted it. And he's not supposed to be there. I thought I deleted him like four fucking se like s streams ago. We're playing some weird games today, chat. I have some horror games. I have some palate cleansers that follow the same themes as the horror games. We have a we have a collection of various oddities. Tomatoes should get one of those color vision implants. Can't you get like glasses? I don't want to cry though. If I get like colored vision glasses, I don't want to cry, which is why I've avoided it. I don't want to start sobbing. I want to start fucking. I want to start up the waterworks. They're semi fake. My guy, what did you just fucking say? They're half fake. What is that? What do you mean they're ha They're semi fake. Are they. F do they work or do they not work? You see color, but they're wrong. That's how colorblind. That's how. That has been my life as a Dutton. Has been seeing color, but it's wrong. I'm pretty sure there aren't many people with color blindness that are living a monochrome lifestyle of of various shades of gray. I'm pr I'm pretty sure most people are in the UC color. It's just slightly off. Like someone went into like Photoshop and shifted the hue setting a little bit to the left or right. Like that's usually what it is. Tomato. <laughs> Can we donate towards your dog vision glasses? Yes, you can. Chat member with a with the opportunity to prime subscribe? Yes, you can. Yes, I actually, actually, hold on, hold on. Logan Paul was fucking filthy rich. Hang on, how expensive are these glasses? Okay, so first and foremost here, if we're gonna actually get involved in any kind of any kind of thing like this, we're gonna have to first of all decide if we are in fact a, uh, we're gonna have to confirm that we're a Dutin again, so we're gonna take the colorblind test a second time. Reconfirm I'm a Dutin before I purchase, because I think they actually charged more for the Dutin glasses. It's a two. It's a seven. Maybe I'm cured, wouldn't that be in- Chad, wouldn't that be inspirational as shit though? <laughs> That's nothing. So far, I'm only down one. I'm pretty sure there's nothing there. He can't see pink. I see some. Ah, was it done? It was a one. It's a six. Why am I doing this again? It's a three. Why is the progress bar taking longer and longer every single time now? At the beginning it was going like bop, 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 bop. And now it's like going fucking baby steps. What is this? Why is it, why did it start adding so many X? Look at how much it just did right there. I don't care. It's a three. End the test, please. Uh, end the test. Please end the test. Please end <laughs> the bar isn't moving, dude. The bar isn't even fucking moving anymore. Just give me my test results now. Bro. I'm fucking cured. <laughs> I'm fucking I'm fucking cured. That's inspirational as shit. That's inspirational as shit, dude. You made so many mistakes. <laughs> you know, Chet, nobody's nerfed, but I I hope this is an inspiration to all of you that sometimes I don't I can Chet, I can finally take off the fucking colorblind tag. I I don't need these. I don't need these Dutton glasses. I don't need these these Ellis brand. $300? Dude, I fucking feel bad for any fucking colorblind bozos that can't see. Because boy oh boy, to be set back $300 in this economy? Pathetic. 
Dude, just squint your eyes hard enough to see the fucking colors. That's what I did. It's literally a miracle. And you know how I did it? I prayed to Jesus every night. <laughs> every night I pray to God. <laughs> Ask him if I can see green. I don't, I don't want webcam on when I play spooky games. You guys will see my weakness. Yeah, no, I don't like that. I don't like that. Nah, no, that's not. <laughs> what? Don't know mega lol ha 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 ha. What are you fucking? You, that that was uncalled for. What was that? It was. I. It was just. It's just dark. It's just dark. You made a face. I just looked over at my camera to check how dark it was. I don't want to get into the habit of doing face cams for games, though. I. I, I actually. I actually do not. Uh. I don't think I don't think I can I don't think my brain can play a game and have a face cam on at the same time I think it fucks with my like with my brain I'm down to like turn it on for like a bit But I can't have it on all the time It actually like fucks with my like brain chemistry a little bit and like makes me like not do certain things On screen two images will appear Okay the Instinct alone Please choose the image that is the most unsettling You will be scored at the end of this video Guy smiling Smile oh I can't smile with your teeth <laughs> you can't smile with your teeth. That's immediately I'm threatened. You heard it from me a thousand times. You never know who might be a psycho. All right. And there's a solid chance that either one of these people could snap like a twig at a moment's notice. But I can tell you one thing. There's a sinister aura coming off of this one with that smile. It's a confident smile. I think that makes me a little bit even more weak. Huh? Did I get, did I lose? Oh. I don't like it. I don't like it. This guy, this guy, I mean, he, someone melted a bit of his face off with like a, with like a, like a hair dryer. But this one's got to fucking put those things away. I don't just, I just, I just don't, I don't like that. I don't like, I don't trust any time someone's going to fucking smile with their teeth. Uh, mm, this is actually a harder one. This is a harder one. This is a tough, this is a tougher one. Grandma? <laughs> that ain't grandma chat but i mean is there anything naturally sinister about someone just being slightly off frame like does this make you more stressed out if i'm like here you okay hold up so you're telling me that simply if i'm slightly off camera like off center it's more unsettling so you're just disturbed by bad cinematography the threat is the bottom left. I used to be a professional editor, and now I literally cannot figure out where the thing that makes my camera monochrome is. <laughs> Just get it out of here! It's grandma! Congratulations, you passed the first exercise. Thank you. Next, we will learn more on how to identify a threat. Lack of eye tracking and awkward movement. What? I think somebody's in my bedroom. He just described tomato. What are you? Huh? What? My camera sucks. <laughs> I don't even think chat. I don't think this will translate to stream. I think this is I'm alone because you I might be able to help it. If I turn on my webcam, I might be able to like stabilize the bitrate by simply being present on the screen. There was some kind of goblin that ran by. I'm gonna narrate it. All right, chat. I will replicate. Can you see? I, he's a blur. <laughs> he's like one of the cryptids. He's in the scene. Mom died. Oh no, mom died. People gotta stop. It is tricking you. People gotta stop putting these fucking ca old camera piece of shit filters in their games. Play dead. I can I can at least tell you guys. There's a weird man right there. Well, uh, There's like a fucking weird tall guy illegal. wiggling around. Uh, no, fuck you guys. Fucking nothing happens out here. Just fucking send someone. Jesus fucking. I'm I'm sorry. That might I'm be that might be the best fucking thing you could ever tell anyone in a rural police station. <laughs> Um, like, I would say that if I was like, hey, there's something weird going on, and then I any mean, officer, like kinda, anyone on the call line. I mean, he definitely knows I'm looking at him. And he knows I'm calling the cops, so he'll fuck off. But I, I don't know, something's just 
off. Dude, I just wish that, like, any of chat could... That was actually, like, a fucking creepy model, and, like, the thing where it ran by was actually spooky as shit. But the problem is that not a single person saw it but me. Oh, assessment examination. It's very similar to this one. I grabbed another that was, like, the same kind of theme first, because I thought it'd be fun in case this one was really short, which it was. Do you believe in God? Every day of my life... Every day of my life, I wake up, I pray to God. I pray to God. Do you fear death? I'm a... Uh, 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 uh yeah. Hell, hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Do you fear God? I pray to God every day that he doesn't smite me and literally kill me himself every day. In a moment, we will provide you with several images of people and you must determine whether or not these people are authentic and to be trusted. Okay. Or threats you should stay away from. Yep. Please be careful with your selections. Our decision on whether to hire you will depend heavily okay. on the results. Okay. No, you know what's the problem here? You know what's the problem with this? The problem with this is the eyebrows. Because if I walk up to you and I'm like, hey. If I, if I walk up to you and I'm like, hey. Can I borrow your phone? You'll be like, maybe? If I walk up and I'm like, hey. It's the eyes. I don't like the eyes. I don't like the eyes threat. I don't like it. I don't think this is a human. <laughs> I don't think this is grandma. I, 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 but the other one was like, I, the other one was somewhat normal. Is this a real face? Is it fair to not trust them because they have like a Junji Ito, like corkscrew face? Uh, it's just a businessman. I don't see why I wouldn't trust a businessman. Uh, I too am a businessman. I do, I do business every once in a while. Uh, he's radiating powerful energy. Duke Nukem. I, if he's like, du you're right, he kind of looks like Duke Nukem. I trust him. I trust Duke Nukem. Yeah, man, I mean, like, wait a minute. Is that a doogie? Hang on, what is that? I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. Devil's lettuce. I don't think so. Yeah, hi. I'm at Doorway Park at a gas station. Uh, I forgot my fucking 3D glasses, chat, so I can't really read this too well, so bear with me a second. Uh, at a gas station, actually, in a corner of Yore Park, I think there's someone here who needs help. Okay, I'm dispatching an ambulance right now. Is there any way you can unlock this door? Oh, I can unlock it for sure. I work here. I have the keys. Then what's stopping you? Well, I mean, I wanted to help him, obviously. The moment he came in, this kid with blood on him, for Christ's sake. This can sound like crazy to you. Just as I was pulling out my keys, I saw it. It reminded me of something. I, I don't know what, something I'm terrified of. You're gonna let this kid bleed out because he feels off? Dude, I'm telling you right now. You better pray to God if you're bleeding out in front of me. You better have a good vibe. Okay, because I will, I swear to you, I swear to God. I will let you fucking cease to exist directly underneath my fucking, my, my vision, like directly standing, laying down directly below me. I will allow you to cease to fucking exist. All right. If I get a feeling that you, that you have any kind of threatening aura about you. If someone was bleeding out in front of me, the only thing I know to do is like, push on it with your hand until it stops. Just push on it, push on it with your hand really hard and it'll stop. I think, I think that's the rules. Just push on it, push on it. Someone sit on the wound, dude. Sit on it. Put a put a big rock on it till it stops. You don't know first aid? My guy, there is a difference between like first aid and like child bleeding out. I don't get the first aid kit, dude. <laughs> That'll help. Yes. I don't want to seem like a bad guy, but if it's like 3 a.m. and I'm in like the fucking like office district of like a city or town, and there's some blood-covered child going, Hey, open the door, dude, please! Covering a bunch of blood, but he evidently does not have any wounds on him of any kind. Bro, there's a 50% chance I turn up, like, the music on Spotify. And, like, look back down at my laptop. And continue to work and hope that they just lose interest. Mm, okay, well, the ambulance is still good. 20 minutes?! 20 minutes?! Did I like, did I somehow dial Canada's 911? And where am I, who am I calling in from? So I need you to go assist him. Oh, fuck that. No fucking way. You, no, you didn't see that little fucker. All right, he's not normal. 
<laughs> you didn't see that little freak! If the trial is giving off real demon vibes, here's my compromise. Open window, throw out the first aid kit, close the window, and now you've li I've done everything I can. And then close it again because I don't, I am not trained in medical supply and like anything with medicine. So I'll go, you got a cell phone, right? And then I'll fucking like tell him to look up like DIY first aid. And then I'll call it a day. I'll get back to work. <laughs> Some duct tape, you shit. You know, refusal to cooperate is a crime, right, son? Imagine calling the police to be like, hey, I think a kid is like, like, I think it's something off right now. And then the police officer threatens to arrest you because you don't do their job. <laughs> Like, imagine, imagine, like, <laughs> I'm gonna fucking, you know, refusal to cooperate is a crime, right, son? Fuck, okay, I'll check on him, all right? Thank you, stay on the line. If that's the child, bro, I guarantee, I, I, I swear to God, I will, I will fucking kick my full foot through the goddamn glass door he's looking through and send him across the entire street. I aim for the- I aim for the obvious soft spot on the back of his skull. You can see it- you can see where his brain is kind of like slouching a little bit. I'd aim for the soft spot. I'm actually more threatened by the fact that he seems normal. Is it fair to say that I just feel threatened by children? Like, if a lone child approaches me Without like a, a like a supervisor around, I feel threatened by the unbridled chaotic nature. Like w without a metaphorical leash to keep them from doing something crazy, I feel threatened. And I feel like if I try, if they were like, if a random child walked up to me and then they pulled out a little pocket knife and started slashing tires, I looked around. There's no parent anywhere, and I go, hey. Stop fucking doing that. You're why are you slashing tires? I wouldn't do that because I'd be afraid the second I do that their parents gonna rub it. What are you doing talking to my son? How about you worry about your own? How about you worry about someone else? All right, how about you get the fuck out? I'd be like fucking scared that I'm gonna get yelled at for trying to like discipline their child. Congratulations. I don't know what they if did. You are accepted into <laughs> you will receive a letter on April the 23rd. We're hiring, right baby. If the letter arrives before that. Stay inside, lock your doors and windows, what? and wait for the real letter to arrive. Do not call the police. If the real letter does not arrive and you believe in a god, pray to them. If everything goes well, however, we'll see you very soon. Damn, this agency's we'll metal as fuck, dude. Our ever -growing family. Okay, well, I mean, we got the job. At, like, I guess fuck agency, because they kept they kept censoring it out, and it, I, I don't know. I The next game on the list is, of course, going to be different kind of style. This one's called Unsorted VHS. So we have uh, what looks to be five tapes. First one is, uh, let's take a look here. Mountain View Primary School. Oh, no, I don't want to do that one. Security room. Or the one that's covered in blood. The cabin anomaly. It feels irresponsible to skip to the end. I don't like that one. Put that one back in. Uh, we'll do the first one, starting at school. We watch the school one until it is cringe. School one until it makes me cringe, because I think about my old past life. My existence as a child. I just remembered fucking- I just remembered about- normal circular unlocking safes i fucking absolutely hate those padlocks i can't do it i actually remembered i couldn't open lockers in my own school i never used a locker i had a i had a full fucking locker in like the best spot in the school and people would ask me if they could have it because uh i wouldn't use it and they'd ask like they'd lose the combination and they'd expect you to give them the combination when like at the end of the year when you gave them back the kit the lock and I'd be like, I don't, fuck if I know, I never used it. It's just sitting, it's just, I sealed this tomb with nothing in it. And then the janitor would roll his eyes and pull out the fucking bolt cutters and cut my fucking locker back open every year for four years. Passing on the rest of that one. We're gonna move on to 
Camping Anomaly Investor Briefing. Nature of the Anomaly Teleportation. Instantaneous travel between two locations without crossing the intervening space. There's a hole at the bottom of the cabins. There's a hole at the bottom. You could use, there's a hole. A precisely traced symbol in the center of the cabins. The material is extraterrestrial. One part of the symbol seems to be pointing towards the unmarked cabin. Okay. This concludes the investor briefing. Who invests in this? I mean, I guess you're investing in teleportation technology, which is cool. Ah, yeah, we're working at the Scepter Foundation. Another day, another dollar. You're at the... You're at the foundation. This is the worst day of my life at this job. Hands <laughs> down, this is probably one of the worst days I've had at the job, and someone broke in half the funny floppy disk I use to do my job. He's napping, he's covered in flies, and he stinks like death. This man is dead. And I can't insert the disk because the last thing he did before he died was he snapped it in half. Therefore, asserting dominance over me because we all know I cannot do that. We got a spare baby. It's all right. This guy didn't ruin our job just yet. Bring your kid to work day. Worst day. <laughs> Truly. Doors locked. The observatory should be up here. Matter of fact, that's the only thing in the fucking building. The majority of this fucking company is a big sham. We're just a money laundering scheme. There's no fucking anomalies. The whole building is the observatory. It just overlooks a cabin with a tunnel beneath it. Guys, it's not this. They're making it so complicated. You want to know how you fucking fix this? Okay, I'm going to tell you the actual answer. Just build another fucking cabin where six is. You have a fucking budget like you guys are fucking filthy rich look at this place just build another cabin build the missing cabin uh might not even exist our best option right now is to try moving one of the cabins <laughs> i have an idea to solve the anomaly we're gonna push one of the cabins somewhere else my kid gave me that idea they're a smart one all right so uh let's see if i can solve this mystery so if you want to get to the sixth cabin, obviously first you go into the scary cabinet, which is number one. You open it. And you're in number two. Close it again. Soundproof cabin. Dude. Like, if they're not going to invest in this anymore, why don't I buy it off their hands and turn this teleporting cabin place into a streamer compound? You can't word it as compound. I don't know why I use the word compound. <laughs> you can't call it a, you can't call it a compound. Don't call it a compound. Never call it a compound. Do we really want, I have an idea, all right, that scientists are too smart to think of. One. Five. Six. Tape fucking sucks. Alice, do you want to go play at the cabins after school again? It's so fun. I just realized that you don't poof to the cabins that are already open. Oh my god. Get on the edge of your seat, chat, because we're about to find out what's in the sixth cabin. I'm predicting probably uh, at least a couple uh, tragically missing children. Uh, a horrible tragedy uh, is about to take place uh, when I telefrag at least two children in uh, one more door. Uh, I'm, gonna pr I'm predicting uh, just truly this entire cabin is going to be painted in telefragged uh, children blood. Here we go. I, I would have honestly, frankly, preferred my ending. WE'RE ON THE INSIDE OF A SOCCER BALL! Oh my god. It all makes sense now. Oh yeah. We're in the football realm now. FIFA aliens. You ever seen someone make a soccer ball before, chat? 
You ever seen someone? You ever see someone make a football before, Chad? No, 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 because you can't. Or alien technology called from the stars with 5G. Tomato can't turn off lights gaming. I don't want every light in my room off. I like to be able to see my like my the things around me. I... Besides, I just, all of them just turned off in game. That's pretty close. Ronaldo. I... Dude, this is. That's why we gotta fucking de de. We gotta disconnect. This is why we gotta take a walk outside every once in a while. You know what I mean? Gotta look what happened to this guy. Oh, that was me. Oh no. The contents of these tapes are very familiar. They remind you of a place similar to this one. You watch them over and over again. The friction between the VCR head and the tape wears out the plastic. They grow brittle and eventually break. All that's left are distant memories. Mike makes some damn good horror games. I'll give Mike that much. Mike makes some damn good fucking like weirdly told horror games that actually remain cohesive enough that a bozo like me can enjoy them. Fucking done with this. <laughs> if the webcam is on the screen, you guys can't see the play and quit button, which is actively detracting from your enjoyment. You see, your guys' problem is you're burning calories for no reason. It's gonna push us out of the way, no point running. You're burning, you gotta save those calories. I don't think I reacted fast enough to that situation. Pathetic. They can't climb. This is why, this is why we will always be superior to the pigs. Can't jump, can't climb. Listen to the fucking screaming. Squeeze, squeeze. They're just like fucking getting mad about it. Did Bro. Buh. <laughs> You're actually faster if you jump. Because if you hit your head on the ceiling, it actually makes you go faster. You get more forward thrust. Ah! 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 Those pigs are faster than you think they are. I'm not gonna be. Fool me once, all right? I'm not falling for it. I, I, every time I get a little better. Wait, how do I do this? Oh. Uh. Ah! Oh! Part of the game sucks. It sucks bad. Yeah, I lived. Yeah, I kind of figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how the fuck am I going to beat him? Idea. Huge idea. Huge idea. Oh! I'm operating on this game having a line of sight system that allows me to do what I'm doing right now. If it works, it works. You know what I mean? What's good, man? Ah, oh, the jig is up. <laughs> Uh, then it was too late to stop me. I was already gone. Dude, I'm like covered in grease, which makes sense in this place. My guy slides around like he's on ice. Cool, a new pipe. I'm not sure why there was a need to give me multiple pipes unless he's break. Pretty much my whole body is broken and shattered. Almost the whole thing. My guy, this is the only way to go! 
I got a feeling. Hey guys, it's a little human society. They've covered it all in grease. Hey. Clip that and you and you. I'm gonna I'm gonna beat you up in Minecraft. All right, I will take you down. Name the fucking IP and I'll take you down at that web address. Okay, I will log in and take you down any day of the week. Okay. Damn. No, no, no. You're not gonna get me on that one, dude. You're not gonna get me on that one. Gonna take a little bit more than that. I got lost. Where do I go? Oh. Nice. We got there. Oh my god, is this a 2012 Let's Play? Camera in the corner, it's back. Okay. Yeah, let's just take it really slow. Now you fucking know. Oh, the whole mod's gotta get destroyed now. Oh, it's all gotta go. It's all gotta go. Like the Wizard of Oz, my deceptions have finally been revealed once and for all, and everyone knows I, in fact, don't run five miles away from my microphone to yell. Shut. All right, now all we gotta do is kill that guy on that fucking tower right there. Activate the cage lever, which frees everyone in the facility. What just happened? I think I was outskilled. Leave him alone! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm not dying like this, not this time. Slow them down! <laughs> That's fine, we made it. There's never a game that really covers what happens after you escape the horror scenario. And your character just kind of goes like, I don't have food or water. I don't know if I have a legal ID. And then a bear shows up and eats him. <laughs> Three. <laughs> Three people made it out with me, dude. Three. But that's a solid three. All right, that's not that's not a weak three. That's a solid three. Those those three are fast. All right, they're the best of the best. That's a solid three. Oh, hello there. My name is Martha. It is wonderful to meet you, dear. Are you just starting out here as well? Yeah. How exciting. Well, I'm very much looking forward to this. It will be good for me to get out of the house. I, I, I just do not get out as much as I should. Do you, do you see that young man over there? Yeah? I tried talking to him earlier. His name is Alan. He was a little rude, so I'm glad that you're here. Oh, but enough of this. I'm very excited to work with you. Well, to work near you, in any case. Hee <laughs> hee. Every day you'll get a stack of forms. Go through each one and stamp them. Approve good or useful animals. Reject bad or useless animals. Don't skip any. We take this job very seriously. Animal inspection form 9645-52. This is the number 375. Species a lo but a lowly pooch. Citizen appeal. We all love this fuzzy dog a lot, says the Alvarez family. That's a good boy. 
9445, Tiny Cat, H4, Nature Aloof, Utility Kills Mice. Citizen Appeal. She didn't let me touch her until a few months ago, but now I pet her every day, says Samantha. Approved. You're in. Citizen Appeal. Easily becomes afraid, but this cat is good. He is family. Michelle. Good cat. That's good cat. Welcome back, I guess. Pretty good job yesterday. Pretty good. Aside from one of you, I won't name any names, but you know who you are. You've been a little too liberal with the approvals. The whole point of this agency is to call the herd. That means you can't just blindly let everything through. From now on, I'll need you all to reject at least one animal. Failure to do so will result in a strike. Hello again. What's up, Martha? How was your first day? Bad. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, dear. My day was grand. I took the lives of numerous creatures, such wonderful and cute animals I had. Of course, I approved them all. Solidarity. Solidarity. We can't let the man win. We never really talked earlier. Yeah, it's because I was avoiding you, Alan. I'm Alan. I know. I don't think I'll be here very long. This is bottom of the barrel stuff. Sincerely bad, like really just the worst. You know what I'm saying? No. Ah, oh, well, okay then. Anyways, good to meet you, I guess. Here we go. These are good. We have to kill one of them. One of them has to die. This is my snake. It's very neat. My friends are scared of it, but I am not. Noodly friend. That's a noodly friend right there. 57884. House cat. H4. Nature. Nervous. Utility. Sheds. Not one person in this cat's life stood up for them. Mike's the family dog. He's old, but he's part of the household. Johnny. Okay, you. I know it's hard to hand out rejections. Well, get used to it. This is your job. You signed up for this. And believe me, it only gets harder. And they say it gets easier, but really, every day is just a little bit harder than the last. I sympathize, I really do, but you understand we have a job to do, right? No. Well, I don't really know what to say to that. Who are you? Who invited you into this building? Do you work here? I just been stamping papers, I see. You're still getting a strike. This is only your first strike, so don't worry too much, but if you get three, you're done. Okay, also, um, well, um, I didn't really think this needed to explain, be explained, but when you comment on forums, you should, um, you should try to spell things correctly. But he was a friend, not a friend, a friend. He was a noodly friend, not a friend, a friend. There's a difference. You're professional now, I guess. So please try to act like it. My guy, I'm a full-time streamer. The one thing that actually makes me less relatable is spelling properly. Uh, oh, hello, dear. Sorry, but I'm a little down today. I heard that Alan has been rejecting all of his animals. I just do not agree with that, but he does not want to listen to me. I will fucking kill him, Martha. Martha, you tell him to meet you somewhere alone and ex and like secluded and I will be there instead of you and I will kill him. Trick him into like following you somewhere and then I will murder him. I will put him down. I will reject him the way he rejects all of his animals. He called me, well dear, he said that I am out of touch. Can you believe it? No. Thank you, dear. You're so much nicer than Alan. Also, I'm not proud of it, but I rejected an animal. <gasps> not a cat, of course. It was a fish. The natural enemy of cats, but still. It does not feel good. Not at all. How's it going? Don't talk to me. I've been getting rid of pretty much all my animals. Seriously, I've got no tolerance for useless things. I may not love this job, but I'm going to do it well. Alan, it is so weird to brag about this. It is... It is such a strange thing to brag about how many animals you're rejecting, you psycho. This is the title chat. You never know who might be a psycho. 
Number 2274, Big Pooch, age three, nature in charge. Utilities, strong tail. Citizen appeal, the dog's big. From Mike. Ant farm number 24. Ant farm, age, zero, nature, busy, educational. Wait, how are you supposed to let us out of the classroom? Says Huston Elementary, first grade. Chad, we need a freebie or we get fired and then our dog dies. Cause he's gonna get Alan. This job fucking sucks. I'm trying my best to be fair to these animals, but it's not very easy. The boss is giving us lots of instructions. Instructions I will not always agree with. Oh man, this job. I don't want to say it too loudly, but well, it's boring, yeah? A real drag, really repetitive. God, Ellen. I'm gonna do something right now that you're gonna love. Is he telling me to look at Martha because she's old? Did Alan just start talking about how old Martha is? Yikes. What the fuck, Alan? Get the fuck away from me. Get away from me. Stop talking to me. Just getting started. Just getting started. That's the kind of cat that we need in this business. Just getting started. They're only just figuring it out. Amazing potential. Um, okay, so I'm sorry to say it, but old Mindy has come down with the flu. Who? You know, Mindy, old Mindy. Everyone knows Mindy. Who? In any case, um, well, someone, what was it? What did it say? I actually skipped it. Whatever, who cares? And today that someone is Alan. Someone's getting promoted. Although there's someone else I'd really like to put in a cage. Wait, are we putting someone in a cage? Yeah? Okay, well, cool. I'm up for anything. What's happening right now? I can't believe I missed the most important dialogue. Alan's been chosen because of his exemplary... Ex... Exlimperly... Um... Exemplary... Performance here these past few weeks. 3357A, Outer Cat, age 9, adventurous, kill birds. We only see her t once a week, but she always brightens the day. Seventy-seven fifty-five two mutt age seven nature sad utilities no known use. I don't care. Useless dog just takes up space. Mark. Is that Alan? Yo! 2275, age 62, older than many of us. Indifferent, eats discarded fruit. Evo's been in our family since before the name meant anything. Candace. Keep it up, big guy. An announcement before you start your day. Seems that Alan is no longer with us. Yeah, because I killed him. It's nothing too much to worry about. But well, that's what's going on. He was a good employee. He's barely functional. Oh, he's barely functional. Look at him. His whole body is barely hanging on. Bro. Pile of rings. <laughs> I'm going to need you all to reject everything today. No exceptions. 87422, nice dog, age four, bashful, invites kindness. Whenever I see this dog, I'm overcome with generosity, Mildred. Frickin' kill you <laughs> if you fire me. I am crazy. World has gone on. Has gone, hang on. On long enough along this path. The mis one day you will know the mistakes you've made. And you will beg me for forgiveness <laughs> and i will say nay sir nay i will say you fucked with the bull buddy and now you're gonna get the horns so 
now help me, God, I will send you to Jesus myself. I do this one for you, Martha. You get my dog out of here. I've done my part. Okay, well, maybe I do understand that. That being said, I, um... I still need to give you a strike, pack your bag. You just want all expenses paid trip to your own house. It's one way. Uh, there are no flights back. You don't work here anymore. Martha's gonna save my dog. That 